The James Dyson Award was set up to invite students at universities to solve problems. We're really looking at, at medicine, sustainability, and we have one much slightly freer award. So we, we invite them to solve a problem and develop a prototype that works. Following the judging over the last few weeks, I'm now about to actually meet the three winners. It's really exciting for me to finally talk to these brilliant young students who've developed such amazing solutions to problems, but also to see their reaction, which is usually lovely. Hello, Hello. Very, very nice to meet you. I just wanted to start with, um, if you could show me your prototype. Do you, ha do you have it with you? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I gather there's a real reason for developing this. Yeah, so the sensor, that my inspiration actually came from a death diagnosis of glaucoma. The whole process is quite painful. And after I came to Singapore to study, I was introduced to tactile sensor technology. And I find actually the high speed, high resolution sensor has the potential to be applied to solve my depth issue. I know exactly what it's like because I had to have it done in a Singapore hospital. So I know exactly how painful it is and slightly scary. I wanted to tell you that you've won the International Design Prize with your development. So many, many congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, James. Wow. You need to go home and tell your dad, I think, Kalu. I'm sure he'll be very proud of you. Bye. Wow. Hello, Jerry. It's James Dyson here, behind the mask. Oh, wow. Well, look, Jerry, congratulations. You're, you're our Sustainability Award winner. Really? Yes. No way. We, we think it's a great development and it solves a real and necessary problem. So well done. I mean, I'm really interested in your your invention. What, what inspired you to do it? I was taught by um, my industrial design background how to make products from plastic. I never saw like the end part. From there on, I learned more and more what the problems are with plastic recycling. You have a screen and a button on the front. It does the measurement on the back. So there are infrared LEDs that shine light and based on its reflection, it gives an output and then it tells you what type of plastic it is. So many, many congratulations. I hope the prize money will, will, will help you further develop it and, and get it into production. Oh, thanks so much. I've actually had two friends stabbed on the streets of London. The numbers are just getting worse. So I knew that I wanted to focus on a more accessible and a more rapid type of technology to stop bleeding. A user would turn up to the scene. They'll grab this actuator and then it will tell me which tamponade to pick out. It's also going to tell me to insert the tamponade and connect the actuator up and then it will pressurise it to that requirement. And that's providing that internal pressure and stemming bleeding at that site. I'm Hello, not sure. Joseph. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm James. Nice to meet you. Nice what to, the? Yeah. <laughs> I've come down to see what you're doing. Wow. Can, can you demonstrate it at all? But yes, I can step through and select the different wound locations. So if I was to select the abdomen, it would tell me to connect up to the valve, but you could actually. And what happens when you pull it out? The hope is you retain the clot on the inside. You can then just take it out with mm. that maintained. Whereas a lot of, you know, the wound packing and all of this, when you actually remove that, you remove the blood clot oh, with yeah, it. Yes. Well, well done. I'm happy to report that you've won the World Medical Device this oh. year. So many congratulations. Thank you so much. That's, yeah, that's uh, incredible. Anyway, I'll try not to cry in front of you. That's, that's all right, that's all right. No, you, you can cry as much as you like. Right, who knew that was going to happen? <laughs> Finally, a message to those who might consider, and I hope will, enter the award next year. So firstly, you might win quite a lot of money, which will help you advance your invention, but also you'll attract attention from other investors. So please enter if you've got a good idea. I know that many of you are extremely ingenious and will come up with excellent ideas, so I look forward to seeing them.